Hello guys, welcome back to the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today I'm joined by Cliff. Hello. And we're on the road. We're heading to Brighton Marina. We're gonna have a fish off Brighton Marina, try and catch some place or some other fish that are lurking around there. And just have a laugh, I think. What do you reckon? Too right. Let's crack on. Right guys, so we made it. Here we are, we're on Brighton Marina East Arm. Um, I'm joined with Cliff today, he's over there, just setting up these little bits and pieces. Uh, we've got two rods out each. Um, I'm using one rod on a one up, one down rig, uh, just baited with lug, uh, scratching around for some place. And on the other rod, I've just put it just straight over the wall with a nice big bluey, uh, see what happens really. Uh, yeah, but it's an absolutely lovely day, as you can see over here. Absolutely fantastic day. Both rods are out. Let's hope we can get some fish. Right guys, so the first fish is in the bank. We just reeled in the first fish, which is here. A nice place. So yeah, great start to the day. Hopefully this is the first fish of many to come. Uh, I've heard some good things about this, uh, this bright marina, so uh, hopefully we'll have a good day. That's um, caught on the just fresh lugworm. And we've got a selection of green and black moonglows on there as well. One up, one down rig. So yeah, first fish of the day. Right, so the first fish going back, go back head first into the water, and he is off. Let's catch a bigger one. Right, so Cliff's into his first fish, bringing it up now, and it's a huge. It's an absolutely stonker. A huge, what is it? Of a miniature it's place. A place. It's a small place, son. That's a beauty of a place. Let's have a look at him then. About ten centimeters. No. Happy days. 15 perhaps at a push. Yeah. <laughs> fish is a fish mate. It's a beauty. Let's, let's crack on. Each. <laughs> right guys, so the rig I'm using today, I'm using two different rigs. Um, bit of place. First one's a one up one down rig, so one hook above the lead, baited with just one worm. And then one below the lead, exactly the same, baited again with one worm. Uh, throughout the day we'll mess around with some squid. Um, I've also thrown a bluey over the side, so we'll see what happens with that. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get some more flatfish. He's got a fish. Got a fish. It's not a big fish, but we got a fish. We got two fish. No, yeah, we got one fish. One little fishy for my dishy. Happy days. It is a place, it's a small place. It's a very small place. <laughs> it's a nice small place. Little baby place. Back in he goes. Right, so today I'm using this wishbone configuration on one of my rods. Uh, with a mixture of green and black beads. How I'm going to bait up is I'm just going to take the worm, I'm just going to feed him on head first. Onto the hook, size 2 Camazan hook. That's one worm on. Do exactly the same to the other hook. Just feeding the worm on. Putting the stop knot down just above the top of the of the worm. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a small bit of this squid actually, just to tip the ends off. So it's going to go a really small piece to tip each of the ends of the hooks off. So it can hang down as a little dangle in a tractor. Let's see if it's going around once, I think. 
I'll just hook on there. And that is my bait. Let's get it cast out. Clip is in. Oh, I can see a fish. I can see two fish there. Well done, mate. Bring them up. Up they come. They come. Look at that. Happy days, mate. Two place. Another fish on there. It's a nice one, that one. Another place there. And green and black bees doing the business today. Well guys, another fish for me, another place. Uh, nothing of like massive size, this one's 28, 29. So yeah, so we're, we're finding the fish, but we're just not, I'm not finding, uh, you know, one that's big enough to uh, to keep at the moment. So we'll get this one back in and it can carry on its journey. And then hopefully when it's a little bit bigger, we'll be able to catch it again. But yeah, uh, the Wishbone Rig's doing the business today uh, with the green and black beads, just lug tip squid. Away he goes. Right guys, there's another nice fish for me. This one's coming out slightly bigger at 34. So, it looks like it's gonna be coming home with me for tea. I think that's quite a nice size to have. And uh, yeah, again on the wishbone rig, still again, just baited with lug, squid tip, with the green and black beads. Lovely little place. Right, there's a Cliff on his first cast with the mackerel feathers. He reckons he's got the knock. What is it Cliff, come on. Are we going to have some Might fresh mackerel? Warm, What's happening? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I can't see nothing surfacing at the moment. It's not big, but it's... Yeah, see, look, there's the face of an excited school child <laughs> looking for his fish. Believe it, I told you it's worth trying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look, he's got some. He's got some. It's a nice one, that one is. God, look at that. He's got a couple there as well. Is that garfish? I don't know. Four? Four, bloody up. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I thought it was all good. <laughs> Look at that. Jeez. He's got a full string of mackerel. Right on, guys, and there it is. <laughs> full string of mackerel. What are we in? Happy April. days. Happy days. Yeah. yeah. End of April, full string of mackerel. I know. First cast. On right the in the marina. Yeah. That is just blinding. That's cool, man. Nice fresh bait there. Yeah, that's not for you too. Have some of them off. Yeah. Right on, guys, so Cliff's just reeled in a string of mackerel, as you've seen. Um, and I want to get in on the action. So I'm just unraveling my mackerel feathers. And then I wish to have a couple of goes and see if we can try and get some mackerel, which would be cool. Yeah, mackerel at the end of April, how weird. So I'm just going to put a little torpedo lead on and then a string of mackerel feathers there. It's daylight feathers. We'll cast it out and uh, see if we can get something. Cliff, mackerel. Cliff is gunning back on the mackerel. I think he's, he's, he's kicking my ass today on the mackerel. Look at the size of that. Not a bad one. The others are a bit thinner and smaller. Yeah. yeah. It's a good one. You've got to measure him up. Let's go measure him up and find out what, what he is, really. I've got a measuring thing here. Do you want to measure him up? There's zero. What have we got? Bloody hell. 31, 30. 30, 31. 31 mackerel. 31, 32 push. What a mackerel. Well done, mate. <laughs> awesome. Lovely. Thank you. Nice, nice bit of fish, that is. Right, so Cliff's got a nice little place there. Another one. And I've ended up with a double bubble. Only small, but still. They're coming in. What is it we say? Fish, fish is a fish. fish. Fish is a fish. So yeah, lovely, absolutely brilliant. Right guys, so the fishing slowed up a bit to be fair. Uh, Cliff's had a couple of mackerel. Um, I've had a couple of goes on the mackerel feathers, but uh, no luck for me unfortunately, which is uh, just sod small. But yeah, here we go. But yeah, it's an absolutely brilliant day. Absolutely fantastic day. I've really enjoyed fishing um, over in Brighton today. Uh, it's been absolutely awesome. Uh, met some, you know, couple of people that we know. Um, and uh, you know, it's just been great fun. 
so yeah so my plan now is that I've uh, chucked the rolling lead on uh, Cliff's gone for a wonder so I've chucked the rolling lead on there's no one in the bays next to us so I've literally just cast it up tide um, and then it's hopefully going to roll around and see if we can try and pick up some fish like that uh, still using the lug tip with the squid um, and then on my second rod I've just thrown a, a big squid bait just down by the side of the wall uh, just to see if we can hopefully you know pick off you know, anything a bit bigger that might be lurking a bit closer in so that's my plan at the moment I'll update you and keep you posted if anything else happens place put it up there you got a little one look like a nice one out there yeah. it's a nice little place again yeah they're all still here but we just want a bigger one don't we really yeah, yeah. there's a nice little place Nothing of major size today, really. I think 34, 34 is the biggest we've had so far. But we've had quite a lot of these small ones, just uh, waiting for a big one, really. Yeah, still, happy days. Right, guys, here's a new one for the books. Crab, lugworm. <laughs> Very strange. It's not a pea, though. I was really kept them. It's hard. So, uh, let's get them back in. But, yeah. Right guys, so we're approaching near the end of the tide. So the tide's going out now, uh, which is pretty much near the low tide to be fair. Uh, we're gonna have a couple more cars, I reckon, and then probably head home. Uh, but it's been a fantastic day. Uh, I just wanna show you something that's actually you know, being a savior of the day, really. This is this little fella here. This is the Rod Fender Rod Rest. Absolutely awesome bit of kit. Absolutely brilliant. And I've just been using that to rest me, uh, rest me rod on the side of the room. So the, um, what do you call it, harbour wall. Uh, the line just fits in that side, and when you want to take it out, you just cast, like so. Just comes out, really simple, and then it just pops back in. There's a protection for your line, but yeah, it's a really, really good bit of kit. Foam pad on the bottom, and it's just held my rod there all day. I haven't had no problems with it moving. It's just been there, I've got one on the other one as well. It's been an absolutely awesome bit of kit. So yeah, so we've had a couple of plates each, um, had, had a few mackerel. And it's just been nice to get out in the in the sun really. Absolutely beautiful day. Absolutely lovely. Wonder if we can get any more fish before we pack up. Right guys, so this is the gummy bear challenge. Something a bit crazy and a bit uh, wacky and out of the way. So we've got a couple of gummy bears there. And I've attached them to the hook snoods. Will they catch a fish? Who knows? Let's find out. Let's have a bit of fun and see what happens. I'm going to cast these out now and then I'll let you know if we can catch a fish on them. <laughs> Absolute madness. Right guys, I actually can't believe what I'm witnessing, uh, but Cliff has actually got a, a new PB, um, which is a bit of a strange one to be fair. Cliff, can you explain please? What have we got? Look, I can't believe it myself. It's just what come off my rig. That. It's not a lug. That is incredible. That is a seahorse. A seahorse. That is ridiculous. <laughs> that is just awesome. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> that, that, that is blinding. Right, let's put it back in. What is he, about eight centimetres? Eight something centimetres, like that? yeah. That's really strange, man. That, that I've never seen one of them before. All the bonkers. times I've been sea fishing. Love what, it. What do you reckon then? Love it. Well, it's definitely a PB. <laughs> right, just so everyone knows that the seahorse was actually caught on the mackerel. It wasn't actually uh, hooked. It was uh, hanging onto the mackerel, uh, mackerel flapper that Cliff was using as his bait. Right guys, so what can I say? A, a, a seahorse. Wow, I've never seen a seahorse before. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. Uh, it's gone back in. It's, it's you know it's, it's gone off fine, so don't worry about that. It's, it's, it's all good. Um, unfortunately, on my gummy bear rig, it's come back, and there's, the gummy bears are still on there. They're a bit soggy, but they're still on there. So uh, that test was a, was a no go. We're back on fishing with squid at the moment on both rods, um, just to see if we can pick off a last minute fish. Really, it's gone really quiet to be fair. Uh, we haven't had no movements um, on the rods as such. Um, we're fishing now towards the end of the. Uh, we're, we're nearing low tide, to be fair. Um, so, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Right, guys. So this is the end of the video. Now it's been a pretty 
eventful day, isn't it, Cliff? Awesome, awesome day. Yeah, I've had a couple of plays. Um, at that's been a lot, really. Cliff's been on a species hunt of his own, uh, to be fair. We've had place, mackerel, place, mackerel, and a legendary mythical creature, which was the seahorse. See, I can't believe it. I actually cannot believe you caught a seahorse. No, neither can I. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. But we've had a good day and it? it's been it's been nice. Weather's been good. It's been awesome. Your crab's leg was good. Oh yeah, I caught a crab as well. Placing a crab. Crab and a crab's leg. Yeah. And a crab's leg, yeah, a spider crab leg. Don't know how that happened, uh, but there's a spider crab out there with one less leg. <laughs> hopping around. Yeah. <laughs> right then guys, so until next time we'll see you soon. Thanks very much for watching. And we'll leave you with some uh, nice scenic views. I think that'll be good. Good idea, yeah. yeah.